of Civil Engineering and ICE Engineer Omolola Adetono has reinforced the need to expose young engineers to protocol training right from their respective institutions as a means of guiding against convocating half-baked engineers for the overall Nigerian economy. Engineer Adetono, a former national vice chairman of NICE, nice, who highlighted this while speaking on an industrial visit to a construction project, explained that the new generation of engineers require more practicals to complement the tutorials they are receiving in class. She noted that a sustainable plan for the construction engineering industry must be put in place so that the wide gap created from the period of learning, the theory and the practical after convocations would be bridged. On his part, engineer Femi Ogudari said there is the need for the government at all levels to improve the level of education given to the students through adequate funding and monitoring in order to guide against turning out half picked graduates. He said the Engineers Resource Academy has set up the call by bridging the gap with the exposures rendering to the fresh and young engineers. Our builder, Taiwo Omotosho, noted that stakeholders in the construction industry need to help the government and the new generation of civil engineers to acquire practicals while in schools. Here we are again on an industrial visit to train more of the interns. We have given them the two weeks training. Now we're on the site. We said um, this monumental work because they use police terrain for the walls, for the slabs, to replace these red bricks for all these slabs and it's another type of construction that we need to expose them to so that no matter where they deserve to serve, they will have this at the back of that. And then, yes, I know about polystyrene. Yes, I know what we can do to it. Yes, I know it's a cost saving uh, attempt and it is good for construction as well. What the relevance is that it brings alive what they are learning in the classrooms. Once you give them a chance to feel what they are learning, by the time they come back to class, it comes alive. For instance, you tell them about bending moments. They, it, it's just um, academic jargons until they see bending moments in action on site, and they go back to it and say, okay, that's what they were talking about. And it just brings it alive and makes it true. That's what makes us engineers. The ability to put what we are learning in school to uh, solve problems in the outside world. But for as long as they don't have that exposure, how do they know the relevance of these things? It's just um, English as far as they are concerned. I just trying to bridge the gap. You know, most of the things they teach all the students in the classroom, they are things that they cannot feel. So we decided that, okay, let's bring them together, train them for like two weeks. After the training in the class, we bring them to sites to see the practical aspects of what they have been taught in the classroom. Then after this two, two weeks training, we now fix them up to different uh, construction company where they can go and learn real practical construction work for six months.